Mangoes are in season. Let's celebrate their health benefits and delicious flavor in this easy recipe. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we bring health and vitality together in the kitchen, one recipe at a time. Today, we're going to be making a refreshing mango coconut lime pudding. This healthy pudding that we're going to be making today contains three main ingredients, and the rest you can really just play around with to customize it just to your taste. The first one is fresh mango. In your blender, you want to add one cup of freshly chopped up mango, which is about one large mango. And mangoes are incredible because they're high in vitamins A, C, and E, which means they help support your digestion, your immune function, they're great for your eye health, and also can help rejuvenate the skin. Next, we're going to add in two cans of full-fat coconut milk. And coconut milk is excellent for helping support your immune function, and it's also really great for your brain, so helping improve your cognitive function and your memory. The last of our three main ingredients is chia seeds. We're going to be adding in two-third cup and did you know that the actual word chia means strength in the ancient Mayan culture? Chia seeds are amazing and sustainable energy because they provide you with protein, fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. Okay, this is where you get to be creative. I'm going to add in one inch of freshly grated ginger root. And I love adding in ginger whenever I can to my recipes because not only does it add a wonderful kick, but it's so good for supporting your digestion. The juice from one lime, which is about two tablespoons, and like all citrus fruits, limes help support your immune system because it's high in vitamin C. Next, I'm going to add in one scoop of our clean source collagens powder. This is optional. I'm going to add it in because really it's tasteless and collagen is really the glue that holds our bodies together. And as we get older, it just decreases dramatically. So whenever I can, I like to add it into my recipes. My last ingredient is one tablespoon of powdered Lakanto. This is just to add in a little bit of sweetness or a little bit more sweetness. And it really depends on your taste. So this is optional. And you can always substitute it with your favorite sweetener. So that could be maple syrup, honey, stevia, monk fruit, really whatever works best for your body. Blend up all of your ingredients until it has a smooth, creamy consistency. Once everything is blended up really well, I would recommend giving it just a little bit of a taste to make sure that it's at your desired sweetness. Mm, that tastes really good. It's not really, really sweet here, so it really just depends on how sweet you want your pudding to be. Pour your pudding into your serving dishes. You're going to want to then cover and let your uh, pudding set overnight in the refrigerator just to let the flavors come out a little bit more and make sure that your pudding is nice and thick. Obviously, you can see that I've got a great thickness already happening here. Okay, I've just removed my pudding from the refrigerator. It's been chilling overnight and I'm ready to add on some delicious toppings. I have some toasted shredded coconut and also some more freshly chopped up mango. And you can just take your bowl and put your toppings right on top or I am going to actually just spoon this out, dump it out onto my plate. And this is really thick. This is more like a mousse rather than a pudding. Let's see if she comes out for me. Yes. Okay, and now you just get to decorate and garnish your pudding and make it beautiful to present. And this looks so good. Mmm, I love mango. 
This was only one mango that I chopped up, by the way. So use as much as you need, obviously, to your taste. And then I'm going to top it with some shredded coconut. And this is super easy to do, by the way. I just took my coconut and on a frying pan over low heat, just toasted it up for about two or three minutes until it starts to get really fragrant. And it turns a little bit of a more brown color. My favorite part, let's give it a try. Mmm, I absolutely love the flavor of mango. So I really dig this dish. It's nice and light, it's refreshing, and you definitely need to add in the extra mango at the end just to let you know, don't skip that part. You need it to kind of bring out all of the flavors. And remember, get creative in the kitchen. So I added in the lime and the ginger, but you can do whatever you want to really play with this and give it just the right taste that you prefer. I'd love to hear from you. So if you give this a try, let us know how it goes for you. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up. And I'm here every week with a new recipe, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next week in the kitchen.